Alarming staffing concerns within Nevada State Police Highway Patrol. It's becoming not only a public safety issue, but it's also an officer safety issue when we don't have the bodies out there to back up each other. Wayne Dice, a representative with the Nevada Police Union, which covers state police, says they're seeing a mass exodus of troopers. I reached out to Nevada State Police Highway Patrol. In a statement, the department said, in part, they're facing the same challenges that many law enforcement agencies, other government employers, and private businesses are dealing with regarding recruitment and retention, and that the safety of Nevadans continues to be a priority for the department. You know, the troopers, um, just are not paid enough and we've been asking for better pay for years. He tells me the last significant pay increase came in 2006 when they received a 13 percent raise. I can tell you that entry-level troopers right now um, are basically taking home roughly between 12 and 1350 every two weeks. They've received minor cost of living raises since but every time they do Dice says retirement contributions have gone up as well. Obviously you know with us contributing almost 23% of our pay to our own retirement compared to other agencies where their retirement is paid by that agency. Dice says 66 troopers have left Highway Patrol for other jobs since the start of the year. We're losing a lot of folks to other agencies, whether it's Metro, Henderson, School District Police, Boulder City PD, which pays more than we do. He says that number doesn't even include retirements. A day shift sometimes has six troopers work in the whole valley. That's how low the staffing is. It's, it's half of what it, what it normally should be. The statement from state police goes on to say that many dedicated state police officers and troopers are working diligently to provide public safety services on our roadways and in our communities. Dice also tells me he is concerned that troopers will start to face burnout with the amount of overtime they're working to cover big events like concerts and sporting events. Reporting live, Sophia Paraconi, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.